Welcome back to the channel. This is my second box hunt of 2024. When I get done, I will tally and compare to the first box. I will slow down at the halfway, explain a little bit, and then at the end. Today's little hunt is going to be Paul Spare Time. It is Coinsomniac and his regular spare time with Hudson. Um, I got a package just recently from them and oh, I'll shout their channel out. Well, I've got stuff from Paul from a long time ago. I've known Paul since he started his channel. So let's see what we got here. We do have circulated rolls. Um, I did weigh the rolls. Um, I'm not going to stick by that. I, I just don't think it's at, um, accurate. Um, I think the tally method's a little bit better. I did take the two, um, 2017 P off. I won't be keeping them. I just think that there's too many. So let's get started.
this is about halfway as you can see um not too shabby i got a canadian got a small stack of wheat scents um oh nines got a bunch of those um i would say it's pretty typical
baby. In conclusion, here's some of the stats. Uh, copper count would have been 1959, we had one. 1960s, we had 42. 1970s, 233. 1980, 39. 81, 47. 82, 49. We had 19 wheats and two copper Canadian unit. Providing we had two Canadian that were zinc, so we didn't count those as copper. Bonuses, 09, 59, wheats, Canadian. That's it down there, the breakdown. Then the spread looks like box two. We had more copper than the first box. More 09s, more wheats. Difference with the tally is that the first box we counted 2017 peas. We had a lot of those. 107, and that would have been at four points a piece. So that's where the difference is. So realistically, 524 is a much better number. That's the wheat bonuses data. I'll wind up changing all that too. I'll add the spreadsheet later. Well, if there's any questions, please feel free to add them in the comments. If you liked it, give a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. It's all right. And, um, Appreciate you watching and have a good day. Thank you.